When I search how the Mac Mini M1 performs in video editing, all I see is review on Final Cut Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and Premiere Pro. Problem is that each costs about 300 to purchase, except Resolve has a free version also. I have yet to see a review on the Mini M1 using CapCut Mac version, which is a free video editor app. In this video, I'm about to show you how the Mac Mini M1 handles video editing on CapCut. Stay tuned. Start a new project. Let me go to modify. If I could show you guys the performance that I'm not using proxy. So here's proxy. Turn on. No, but I'm turning it off. So it's going to play whatever the video is. 4K. Anything it is. So save. I'm going to import my Curacao trip. I actually just dropped the Curacao video. Take a look at it, please. Anyways, let me add all these clips. Import. So these are all 4K videos. All right, so let me add them all to the timeline. Let's see how quick it adds it. And there, it's already there. That's how quick. Let me spread it out for you guys. Now I'm gonna go through the timeline and go back and forth and see if it lags. Here in the player, where it says player right here, if it turns yellow, that means it's lagging. And if it turns red, that means it's lagging bad. So let's see how, if it skips any frames or anything while I go through it. As you can see, very smooth. Go back and forth. That's playing very smooth. And the DJI mini videos, it lags a little bit because that they use a different type of videos for. And the DJI lags a little bit because it's harder to edit with those type of videos from DJI. But other than that, smooth. All right, so let's add some B-roll on top of the 4K video. Let's see, nope. All right, so let me get a DJI right here. Make it as a B-roll. So I'm putting two files on top of each other, 4K. And let's see how it performs. Press play. And as you can see, smoothly, you look at player, it's still white, so that means it's running fine. No hiccups, no skips. Let's try one more time. Running smoothly. All right, so let's add some text on top of our B-roll. So let's add it right there. Stretch it out. All right, let's see if it lags. Top of the B-roll and let's, it's gonna go to the text in a few right now. No lag, player still white, so no skipping frames, all good. Now let's add some effects on top of that. Add this one, random. Stretch it out. Play from the beginning. FPS lag. Actually, let me pick a different one. Because this is supposed to lag. It's S FPS lag, so let me cut that. Uh, let me do the black flash. And that. Stretch it out. See? Everything running smooth. Let's 
skip it to the letter if I could do everything at the same time you got your effects your text your b-roll and your 4k video running smoothly you go back and forth and see it's still smooth and running good so the mini mac m1 should you get it i say yes i got the standard gig the 8 gig and 8 ram and it's running like butter smooth no lagging no nothing i say if you do if you do videos for youtube and want to upload social media ig tiktok i say it's a go can't beat it the best value computer to date well except the m2 that came out but the m1 is still pretty good in 2023 so thank you guys for watching comment subscribe um comment if you got any questions and catch you on the next one